to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. This standalone structure, now set in a small green patch in Pennunkonda in Andhra's Anandpur district, holds a significant place for anyone interested in the history of the great Vijayanagar Empire that reached its greatest height under the king, Krishnadeva Raya, between 1509 and 1529 when he was emperor. The city of Penakonda acted as a summer capital for the Vijayanagar Rayas, and this cell here is where Krishnadeva Raya, imprisoned and if accounts are to be believed, brutally tortured the man who had saved his own life and was instrumental in his rise, his Prime Minister Timarusu. This was a decision that would go on to haunt Krishnadeva Raya for the rest of his life. Krishnadeva Raya was not the anointed heir of his father. He was a second son and according to the records of a contemporary Portuguese traveller who visited Vijayanagara, for now known as, it seems Krishnadeva Raya's elder brother Veera Narasimha had asked his Prime Minister Timarasu to blind Krishnadeva Raya to ensure that his own son ascends the throne after his death. Timarasu didn't follow the orders and instead helped Krishnadeva Raya become king after the short reign of his brother Veera Narasimha. Legends abound about how close Timarasu was to Krishnadeva Raya. In contemporary accounts, he is supposed to have been a mentor, confidant and advisor. So much so that Krishnadeva Raya is said to have referred to Timarasu as Appaji. Between 1509 and 1529, in a reign that stretched 20 years, Krishnadeva Raya became a powerful emperor, defeating his foes and expanding the Vijayanagara Empire to the greatest heights. His capital, the present-day city of Hampi, was one of the most populous cities of the then world and attracted merchants, traders and emissaries from far and wide. Timarasu continued to enjoy great power and his son was appointed the governor of Udaigiri, an important fort in present-day Andhra. There are also references to liberal donations made by Timarasu's wife in the temple of Tirupati. But towards the latter part of Krishnadeva Raya's life, as his power was established, his court became a cesspool of politics with different factions trying to gain favour. In 1523, records show that a worried Krishnadeva Raya stepped down from the throne to place his young six-year-old son on the throne and secure his future. Sadly, his son died soon after in what was believed to be a case of poisoning. A devastated Krishnadeva Raya is said to have succumbed to court intrigue and blamed Timirasu for his son's death. The trusted Prime Minister was arrested, blinded and put in a cell for three years. Soon after, Krishnadeva Raya realised his folly and regretted his actions, but the damage was done. We don't know what happened to Timarasu after. Some literary sources claim that he left for Tirupati and spent his last years in poverty there. Others claim that Timarasu died here in Penukonda and his Samadhi is here. For the locals living in Penukonda, this structure is a reminder of the brutal end of a man who helped shape the fortunes of Vijayanagar's great Krishnadeva Raya. <laughs>